Did you hear? That boy's a suspect. There was always something about him that... Boy. This is Cody Fern. And if you don't already know who he is, you will. In 2018 alone, he starred in three of the biggest shows, American Crime Story, American Horror Story, and the final season of House of Cards. With just 11 credits on his IMDb, he's already shown an incredible amount of depth in his dramatic acting work. Cody didn't make the firm decision to get into acting until after he earned a Bachelor of Commerce degree from Curtin University in Perth, Australia, where he's originally from. In a 2012 interview for the Sunday Herald son, he said, When I finished, I decided that every decision I make from this day forward will be purely based on intuition, and I'm not going to fight that. So Cody started taking acting classes, appearing in plays and short films, with his first on-screen role as an emotionally detached teenager in the 2008 short Hole in the Ground. In 2010, he played the violent, obnoxious Milk in Still Take You Home, and in 2014, he starred in The Last Time I Saw Richard as Richard, a troubled youth in a mental facility who may or may not be being terrorized by creatures when he goes to sleep. Ah, dream. But one important early role of Cody's wasn't captured on film. You would have had to get tickets to Sydney's Lyric Theatre in 2012 to see him in the lead role of Albert in the Australian tour of the Tony Award-winning play War Horse. It's been such a collaborative process. It's incredibly emotionally demanding. It's the most challenging experience of my life. Hey! Hey, settle down. <laughs> then in 2017, Cody appeared in his first feature film, The Tribes of Palos Verdes, in which he and his twin sister try to adjust to a new life with their family in LA and are forced to deal with the emotional fallout of their father having an affair. You're a liar. You said things would be different. In real life, Cody was dealing with his own move to Los Angeles from Australia, and he was discouraged with the types of roles he was going out for, usually going up against more established actors at the time like Ty Sheridan and Miles Teller. He wanted to focus on a feature film he was writing, and he had said that he only wanted to act in television if it was for showrunner Ryan Murphy or on House of Cards. Well, it wasn't long after that when he did both. Is that what I'm running from? first breaking out with his portrayal of the fragile David Madsen, one of five victims of spree killer Andrew Cunanan in American Crime Story, The Assassination of Gianni Versace. Cody's performance as David hinged on one question. If David in real life was, in fact, taken against his will to run away with Andrew, why wouldn't he fight back? The reasons implied are heartbreaking and offer a glimpse into the subtleties of Stockholm Syndrome. This has to stop. Cody worked again with Ryan Murphy when he portrayed a completely different character, Michael Langdon, who's pretty much the Antichrist in American Horror Story Apocalypse. I'm sure it was impossible to resist the temptation of making this place over in your image. And hot off the heels of Apocalypse, Cody stars in the final season of House of Cards as Duncan Shepard, the son of a family who has a complicated past with the Underwoods. Cody Fern has all the qualities of a fierce leading man, from his early appearances in short films to some of the most talked about TV shows. His characters tend to have a complex history and sadness behind their motivations, and he's bound to join the ranks of the most prominent young actors today.